Hey traders, Raggy here. And in today's free video, we're gonna recap this morning's day trades. A lot of weakness right off the bat here, as we saw a pre-market sell-off turn into a weak open. Now, what's been very difficult, and a lot of you have noticed this, is that a lot of the moves, much of the move we oftentimes see is happening before the bell. But that doesn't mean we can't take advantage of the 9.30 to 11.30 window of opportunity for our day trades. Now in the premium video, I will dive a little bit into the different sessions and the price movement ranges that we can anticipate for say the Asian session, the Asian session overlapping with the European and UK session, and then finally the European and UK session overlapping with the US. So we'll talk a bit about that and the 24 hour nature of day trading, but that not all 24 hours are created the same. In fact, let me show you something here real quick. Here is the Dow hourly price movement range. And these are what I refer to as the HPMRs. Now this is midnight and this is 11 PM and this is all Eastern. Notice where the bulk of volatility occurs. Notice where we get a drop off. This is the Asian session gang. This is 8 PM to 11. This is midnight to about 4 a.m. Notice how much less price movement range we get and then take a look at the boost higher when we get the New York session kind of getting going. I call 7 a.m. the first cup of coffee in terms of the New York session sort of waking up and the price movement range is starting to, to increase. And then eight o'clock is oftentimes an interesting increase because we do have 830 economic events. So volatility increases as well, but not all 24 hours are created equally clearly, as you can see. So what do we do today? Let me walk you through some basics. And this is pretty much what we look for more sedate price movement ranges, but here are the levels. So we wait for a short trade triggered breach. That means we have bearish bias. We are then looking for shorts only that gave us opportunities in this area that furthermore gave us opportunities in this area. And finally, even up in here, all shorts. In fact, as long as we stay, you know, either below the hourly price movement range, which would be a little aggressive, but valid, but definitely below the clearing range high, we're looking for shorts. And then on the downside, because the way the market's been moving today, very sedate, kind of range bound. Doesn't mean that we can't eke out some nice moves to the value area low right in here. Volume and price coming together. Volume and price giving us a great support level and an excellent target as we move to the downside. And that's pretty much where we are right now. And that's a look at the markets around 1 p.m. Eastern. And I'm done. And I think that's really the, the point of this. Started looking at the markets for opportunity at 930, got my opportunities, as you can see, around 1030. Again, a number of times throughout the morning, I have my 1130 cutoff for entries. We sunk down to the range and, and for good measure, did it a few times for those of us that might be a little stubborn. And we did this in the YM, ES, and Q, and even the RTY. We'll review all of those in the premium video, but this is the kind of trading I like to do this time of year, gang, two hours and done. All right, I'll see you in the next update.